Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited to have you back on today for another lesson. Today we're going to be talking about how to play Sunday Morning by Maroon 5. This is a beautiful song and it's simple but the chords you're using are pulled basically straight out of the jazz vocabulary. The main riff of the song is what's known as a 2-5-1. Before we get into that, if you don't know me, my name is Gabriel. I run this YouTube channel. I'm a professional musician in the Los Angeles area. I play drums, bass, and guitar. I can do music editing and video editing. So if you need any, any of those services, the best place to contact me is my Instagram at Gabriel underscore Pi underscore Feldman. Awesome. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. So like I said, this song consists mainly of this 2-5-1, right? A major 2-5-1 in the key of C major is, the way, is where Maroon 5 plays it. So the verse and the chorus can be summed down to just these three chords. So the first one is going to be D minor 7 on the 5th fret like this. The next chord we're going to have, I'm going to play it as G13 like this. And then our final chord is going to be C major 7. So these three chords make up the first and the chorus. But the really important thing about the way Maroon 5 plays it is they have every chord come in one sixteenth note early. So when you're counting your sixteenth notes, if you're counting one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a, they're all gonna come in on the uh of four. It'll be like this. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. coming in on the uh right before the number. Two and a three and a four. So just to kind of show you how that's going to feel with the metronome, uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab my metronome on my phone. The, met the app I use is called Pro Metronome. It's one that I highly recommend you try. It looks like this. It's a free app uh, and you'll see it overlaid on screen. So right here we have 80 BPM on the metronome. So the way it's going to feel is 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 So you feel it's like just the head of that metronome. So a trick to work on this, if this is like your first time playing something that's not directly on the beat, is take whatever number you're attempting to play it at, and what you're gonna do is multiply it by four. So I'm doing 80, I'm gonna go times four, that gives me 320. Now I'm going to go back to my uh, metronome here. I'm going to set the metronome up to 320. So I'm just sliding this knob all the way to there, 320. So now, now we have an incredibly fast metronome. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take the first one and we're going to put some sort of special sound on it. So now, really, the high-pitched sound is going to be the actual number. So you're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're still at 80. 2, 3, 4. 1, 2. And all these other ones are playing all your E and us, E and us, E and us. All right? So they're playing the E and a uh of every single number. So all together, what you're going to be hearing is 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a, 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a. This will make it much easier to find the us, right? We got 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a, 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a, 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a, 
awesome. So I think you're getting that idea. Uh, and you don't have to do it at this speed. I'm doing it at the equivalent of 80 BPM, which is 320 on the metronome. But if you wanted to do it at, say, like 60 BPM, then you could put it to 240 on the metronome. But by getting it, playing it four times, as fast as the metronome four times as fast, and having that accented beat will really help you hear what are called the subdivisions, all the other 16th notes happening inside of, of one beat. Great, so that covers the main riff of the song. Now we have one more super duper famous part, which is the the the, the riff that they play, right? The... I'm gonna turn off my delay for a second. So what we've got going on here is it's all kind of based around C. So the first note we're going to have is C, which I'm playing here on the third fret of the A string. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to play the sixth fret of the A string to the seventh fret. Now we're going to come back and play C again on the third fret. So what I'm doing here is the third fret of the A string, the second fret of the A string, which is B, and then hitting A fifth fret of the E string. And then we're going to repeat it again to G, to F sharp, to F. So just to go over that again, we're going to have C, B, right, these two notes, to A, then we're going to have the same two notes, to C, B, to G, same notes again, C, B, F sharp, it up, F, G, and then they have this part where it goes, so this is just G, A, C, A, C, okay, so all together the line, we've got C, E flat, E, C, B, A, C, B, G, C, B, F, F, G, G, A, C, A, C. All right, a little bit faster. Awesome. So with that, that is going to conclude this video for today. With those two parts, you should be able to play all of Sunday Morning and get through it all. So it's a really, really fun song, and I think a really cool concept is that those main chords, this D minor 7, G13, and C major 7, these are your main, what's called a 2-5-1 in jazz, a major 2-5-1. It's a very, very common jazz chord progression that you'll see all the time. So it's great because it'll obviously play you Sunday morning, but you can get a lot more mileage out of it if you look at other jazz standards. You can actually use those same voicings to play like many, many other songs, including some really, really famous ones like Girl from Ipanema or different really beautiful jazz standards like that. So awesome, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. I would really love to hear down below in the comments if there's anything that I could do to help improve the quality of my videos. I'm always looking to improve and see if I can make it at all better. So if you have some suggestions of ways that I could maybe make, my, make it sound a little bit better, then I would be super delighted to hear them. Awesome. Have a great day, and bye bye.